What's up travelers? So I'm sitting here at Trattoria Milanese. Just ordered a plate of gorgonzola nochi and a bowl of minestrone soup. But while we wait for our food, let's go over to the top of the Milan Cathedral. Unfortunately, while I was here, it was really icy out, so they closed off the top of the cathedral for the most part, like the, the upper level. We weren't able to get up to where the most of the really cool statues and everything on top of the spires were, so that kind of sucked. So this is the lower level of the roof of the cathedral. Um, it's the best I could do. One of the things that we missed because of the ice is one of the statues on the spires up top is actually a statue of Napoleon Bonaparte, which I imagine it's kind of a pretty cool statue.
the Milan Cathedral is probably the most collaborative work of art there has ever been. It, they started building it a, between six and seven hundred years ago. Like countless artists have been involved in sculpting this thing, and the the proof is in the pudding. This this building is absolutely beautiful. I wish I knew more about the history of the statues and all that kind of stuff and the carvings, uh, but I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I, I'm glad I can show it to you. Travelers, join Tony on his journey while he discovers amazing foods and popular worldwide destinations. Especially when you want to wrap your lips around some amazing delicacies instead of something that tastes like a dirty sock like me. So hit that subscribe button and gong that notification bell so you can be alerted to future videos.
sitting here at Trattoria Milanese. Just ordered a plate of gorgonzola nochi and a bowl of minestrone soup. I'm so excited. I love minestrone soup. It was Leonardo da Vinci's favorite, favorite meal. And uh, it's another one of those things that was invented here in Milan. So I'm pretty excited about it. So we got our nochi here. It smells amazing. I'm so excited for this. Oh, that is amazing. So if you don't know what nochi is, they take they take mashed potatoes and they turn it into a dough and then they drop it into boiling water and turns it into a pasta and it is an amazing flavor. Mm. It's so good. Like soft and chewy and it just fills your mouth and it's just an explosion of flavor. Mm. It's so good. That gorgonzola cheese sauce is to die for. It's one of those flavors that you just don't want to let anything go to waste. Mm. Mm. So good. But this isn't why we came here. So. We'll get back to that when it gets here. So we got this minestrone soup here, and I am excited. We are about to dig into this, and it is going to be some good eats. Wow, that was everything I hoped for and more. That broth, it's got like a, a pesto, it's like a pesto broth. And, oh, it is so good. You got green beans, carrots, pasta, celery, peas. Looks like probably some some arugula in there as well. Maybe some sort of cabbage. But oh man. Oh, oh this is so good. And then they topped it with some grated uh, parmesan. This is the perfect soup. Especially on a cold day like tonight. Leonardo definitely knew what he was talking about. <laughs> So now I've tried two dishes here at uh, Trattoria Manis, and uh, I gotta say that if you, if you end up coming to Milan, seek this place out. It's not too far from the Starbucks Reserve Grocery. It's about a, probably a four minute walk from there. I've had two dishes on their menu, and I'm then they're both fantastic, and I imagine everything else on the menu is amazing as well. So definitely come check this place out. Um, also, each of these dishes were 10 euros each. Prices here are 
rather reasonable, and that's kind of difficult to find here in Milan. So <laughs> definitely come check this place out. While you're at it, go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so I can let you know every time I upload a new video. As always, eat great food.